All right, so this is what I currently have set up for my five pound tool bag. A lot of guys, they have garages and they have full size tool bags uh, that, that they use often for, for home repairs and stuff. This is gonna, I, I have uh, other tool kits as well. This is gonna be dedicated to the bob. And uh, this just has the core basic tools that I, I feel that I'll need in any kind of bug out situation. So this is the container I have right now for it. I might switch it up later. I might go put some of these tools in one of the, the Maxpedition pocket organizers. This is the one for my EDC bag. Uh, I just haven't decided. Uh, right now I'm still just kind of ironing out the tools that I want in there. And I'm going to have this labeled with uh, an ID tag that will say that it's tools. So just in case someone else needs to get into my bob bag and grab my tool bag, they'll, they'll know exactly which one it is. So let me, let me bring the scale out here as well, get it ready. Again, a lot of the items in here are specific to emergency situations in an urban environment. Uh, if, if somehow if I make, make it out to the woods for some reason I need to go there, I'll probably be dumping this. And uh, uh, before I go on, uh, the items that are in here as well, a, a lot of you might say, well, you could use that five pounds for something better like a, like, what do you get? Like a tent. And, uh, you know, I have uh, this, here's a tent right here. It's, uh, this one almost weighs five pounds. It's four pounds something. It's the uh, REI Quarter Dome T2 Plus. Uh, I'm kind of thinking that I, I would include this in my wife's bug out bag, and I would have a minimal shelter just so I could carry the tools. Uh, you know, if I, if I needed to, in an urban environment, uh, I, I often look at a lot of the, the homeless guys in the area, and I don't see any of them with tents or with bobs. They, well, they kind of have their own bobs, but if you never see any of them with a tent, you might see them with some kind of shelter. Uh, so I'm kind of looking at a tarp shelter for my specific bug out bag. But if I'm going, if I'm going out with the wife and with my one year old, I'm going to want a tent for them, and that's a, a I'm six foot five, and so I need a, a real long tent, and that one kind of meets our needs. So let's go on. Uh, first item that came out is uh, this is a little mini hacksaw. It's a Stanley. It's around three dollars at Walmart. I'll probably include an extra blade in here. Uh, I, currently, I do not have WD-40, but I would probably include that as well to help uh, lubricate. Now, this would be something if. Uh, I don't know, if I was in an earthquake and I was trapped in some under some kind of uh, piece of metal and needed to cut through, this is uh, where that would come into play. I haven't even broken this one out yet. This is a, a chisel. Um, it, it a lot of different uses. I, I was also planning on using this for, for, for prying as well. I don't currently have a pry bar in here, but uh, this would, if I needed to pry into something, this would be used for it. I'm still not sure if I'm going to keep the size for it, uh, or if I'm going to get a larger or smaller one. That's why I still have it in the package, so I might return it. We'll see. To go along with that chisel, I have, yes, a little hammer. This hammer is the lightest one that I could find. It said that it weighs 8 ounces, so let's see. I just got it yesterday. So. Okay, they lied. 13 ounces. <laughs> anyway, it's still smaller than most of the hammers that I've seen. Uh, you know, if I, in an urban environment, uh, I might need to board up some windows, or uh, I could use it for prying different nails, use it with along with this chisel. So that's my little mini hammer. Right here, I have a little collapsible magnet. You know, for getting... When I, when I do a lot of repair work, I'm, I'm semi-clumsy with uh, different nuts and screws and stuff, and I often drop them, especially if I'm working on my car, and, and this thing comes incredibly handy, and it's cheap, too, and lightweight. I don't even have to weigh it. Uh, here's a little mini uh, uh, razor used for cutting different things. Uh, nothing to this, actually, really. It's fairly light. It's not the lightest in the world. But right here I have a precision, precision screw, screwdriver. Sorry for a lot of different bits on there. I have the same one in my EDC bag, but this is a new one. Uh, this one, I haven't seen in any Bob videos. I got this idea from Mr. Monkey Man 50. Actually, Mr. Monkey Man 50 helped me with a lot of the ideas that I have right now. This is uh, a Silcock. It's a, a four-way... It's, it's for opening uh, water faucets, outdoor water faucets. Uh, so if I'm bugging out and, and uh, if I run out of water, uh, this will be one way of gathering water. The, a, lot of, a lot of times you'll walk outside of buildings and you'll see that they have a water faucet, but they don't have a, 
uh, you know, a knob for turning it. They take that off so people won't get into their water. And I know, yeah, I could probably get in there with my Leatherman, but this is designed for specifically for that, for getting into and for gathering, oh, you know, getting into water faucets. So. And it's, it's fairly light, it's about five ounces. I have a little bit of measuring tape. I got this one because it's extremely flexible. If I need to wrap around something that's, you know, not straight or flat, it'll work for that. And it's 10 feet and it's also very light. Here's a, a spring-loaded brass punch. I could, I could probably use it with a hammer if I wanted to, but this is mainly for, for me for breaking glass. On my uh, keychain, I also carry, I'll talk about this in my EDC video, but I also carry the, uh, the Rescue Me uh, uh, device, for, and, which also has a glass punch in it as well. But this is dedicated to the bob. Let's see, it's popping out. Uh, it's like my mini sewing kit. I got this at a, a craft store, and it's, it's very lightweight. It's about two ounces. This is for you know repairing this bag or repairing my backpack or a piece of clothes that need that gets torn. Here's a carpenter's pencil. I'm gonna take this bag off and just have everything laid out here. So let's see, next in the bag, here we go, a little fiberglass screwdriver, a lot of different bits in it, extremely cheap at Walmart, probably three dollars, so have that included, extremely lightweight. Uh, for the knife, I have a knife sharpener, this is one, a Smith's, you can get it at REI or Amazon, it's about eight dollars I think. Okay, here's an item that I, you, you will not carry in the woods with you, but a crescent wrench, or adjustable wrench. Uh, I, could, I could definitely use my Leatherman if I wanted to, uh, but this is, uh, I could run the risk of stripping any kind of nuts, so this is uh, better suited for those kind of situations. And this is the lightest, well it's not the lightest, but it's uh, the one I, it was light enough for me and, and the right amount of size that I thought it would be used for most scenarios. Okay, going along with that, this one's probably my heaviest item. Uh, I see some guys have had wire cutters in their kits. This is a bolt cutter. It's a, I think you pronounce it Nipex. It's made in Germany. Uh, I, my brother's a mechanic, and I bought this off of him. This one runs about $65. I bought it from him for 20 bucks because it's used. So. But this thing would go through... Uh, we I wanted something that would go through a wire fence, basically. So... Uh, if I needed to get into some, if I was pinned down or really needed to cut something thick, this thing, uh, we did a demo and we really tore apart his wire fence uh, out in his backyard with this thing. So and it, and it went through like butter. Uh, so I wanted it in my kit. I thought it was a pretty cool thing to have. One problem with this kit that I've seen already is it kind of it's turning into, especially with items like this and this, it's kind of a burglary 101 tool bag. So, but, uh, Thing I've been thinking about. Uh, I have some scissors. These are not. These are placeholders for the scissors that I want to get. I would like to get a heavy-duty scissors, something that's going to be a lot better than, you know, what's on your Leatherman tool. So, but I have this to, as a placeholder for a better one when I, you know, when I could buy it. Uh, extra razor, duct tape. Everyone has this. Here's uh, some Gorilla glue. Little mini gorilla glue. A spool of wire. Here's another one that you won't see in other Bob videos, I don't think. This is a socket wrench with a socket on it, but this is a, one of those gator grip sockets. So I didn't, you know, I, I could carry, if I was really stupid, I'd just carry a you know big full socket set that has all the you know, different kind of socket sizes in there. But that little thing alone is over five pounds. This is a uh, would be able to fit a lot of different sockets and especially stripped ones. If I'm in a, uh, a location that has the older building, for example, that has you know sockets that are stripped, this would be extremely good for that. It's kind of on the heavy side, so this uh, the ratchet alone is probably ten ounces. So what I'm thinking of, what I'm leaning towards now, is going with a stumpy ratchet instead, which is a lot lighter than that one. This should also fit it. 
and uh, that might do the job. Another option that I was also thinking about was to not have a ratchet and to use this little, uh, this came with the gator socket. And using my fiberglass screwdriver, which is extremely light, as one, and maybe having, you know, using the wrench and to kind of give some kind of, you know, torque to it. But I, right now I think I'm leaning towards using the stumpy. And in addition with that, I, you know, I might not get a lot of leverage. You know, you have to have pretty strong wrist for that. So I wouldn't be using this, this for example, but something like this, maybe plastic, it's a PVC pipe, and using it to get a little bit more of an angle on it. I also have a longer one here that I could also use. If I really need to crank into something, and, and that's just not cutting it. So um, if you have any ideas for a light you know, version of this, I'd, I'd like to hear it. This, I could also use that for uh, my crescent wrench here as well, if I need, need to dig into something. I guess, I don't know, maybe if the hammer wasn't cutting it, I need a more <laughs> angle. I could use my duct tape, but that probably wouldn't work for this scenario. But the stuff that I'm thinking about. Uh, let's see, the yeah, last thing I have in there is just this little magnifying. I need to get down into something that's really small. So that's currently what I have for my 5 pound tool bag. Uh, I'd like to hear any comments, like um, any ideas that you have, things that are missing. Uh, some other items that I'd like to get in there is some gaffer's tape. But I'll, I'll put a list of items that I'm also leaning towards. I'd like to get any other input that you have or th what ways of making it lighter. So now let's move on to electrical tools.